Hi everybody, it's Sean and we're here at Munion Island, which is part of MacArthur Beach State Park, one of my favorite places in the Lake Worth Lagoon to explore. So we're going to go check it out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more uh, marine life and nature <laughs> adventures and videos. If you look at a satellite image of Palm Beach County, you'll notice a small section of coastal island that's actually not developed. That's MacArthur Beach State Park, and it is surrounded by concrete roads and high-rises. On the west side of the park is Munion Island, one of the best examples of a pristine estuary in Palm Beach County. You can only get there by boat or kayak. The island was originally called Nukta Shu by the Seminoles, meaning Pelican Island. The island was bought by Dr. James Munion in 1901 and he completed construction of the Hygieia Hotel by 1903. Dr. Munyon catered to the wealthy northerners with his famed Munyon's Papa Elixir, a blend of sulfur water and fermented papaya juice. The hotel itself burned to the ground in 1917. So this is part of uh, the old well here <laughs> at Munyon Island. There's not a whole lot left. Uh, of the old structures, but this is one little piece that you can find. The island was eventually acquired by John D. MacArthur in 1955 and by the state of Florida in 1981. Between 1992 and 1997, a massive restoration project was initiated on the island, completely removing all the invasive exotics and totaling about 43 acres of restored habitat in the Lake Worth Lagoon. Today, the island's set up with a little boat dock, a trail, and even some barbecue pits for day visitors. But the coolest part is exploring the internal channels of the island and of course a little bit underwater. This hermit crab is hanging out in the shallow water among the shoal grass, picking through sediments for algae and detritus to eat. Just a little farther along, I found a little burrfish laying low as the tide's going out. Burrfish, along with other peppers, are predators of benthic invertebrates, so they go after little crabs and shrimps and mussels. This little fish decided I was getting a little too close. Time to go a little deeper into the mangrove-lined inner channels of the island. We were paddling at low tide, so you definitely can see a lot of the exposed mangrove roots and a lot of the mucky bottom. So I'm at the back of like a little finger canal uh, in the island, and this is where you find lots of stagnation. And this, uh, this is basically detritus. It's dead organic matter. There's lots of leaf litter in here. Um, basically, it's decomposition going on with bacteria and everything else. Um, and this is what feeds the food chain here, really. Uh, it's a detrital system. All these leaves, uh, seagrass blades, uh, pretty much everything that ends up on the bottom ends up getting decomposed. And then eventually, uh, it re-releases as nutrients into the environment, supporting this amazing system. And not too far away, a little blue heron was making use of the low tide in the channels to stalk some little juvenile fish. While back in the channels, we took the opportunity to pull out the old refractometer and check the salinity, which was about 28 parts per thousand. The dissolved oxygen was around 4.7 milligrams per liter, and the pH was around 7.5-7.6. Because it's low tide and you're in these confined channels with lots of dead organic matter being decomposed, you're generally going to have a little bit of a lower dissolved oxygen and uh, a lower pH than you might have outside the island in the open water. And if you take a close look at some of the exposed sandbars, you'll see these little snails all over the place moving around. 
These are battle area snails and they're very common in the low tide area and you can find them searching through the sand looking for detritus and algae to eat. Once again the tide's rolling back in so we're going to exit the channels and start paddling around the island. We circled around the east side of the island and got quite a show from an osprey that was hunting for food. We ended up over in the cut uh, that separates the south side of the island from Singer Island. This was a great place to check out the water quality again and see if there's any differences. The dissolved oxygen here was at 9.9 .9 milligrams per liter. This makes sense as this is a high flow area as the tides come in and out. The pH is also a little bit higher, around 7.9. With less detritus on the bottom, higher flow, and lots of limestone outcroppings, you'll naturally get a higher pH due to the buffering capacity of seawater. I hope you enjoyed checking out Munion Island with me. It's an awesome place. I usually like to come a couple times a year. You always see new stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button and of course subscribe for weekly videos on all sorts of marine science, nature topics. Let's discover.